Item number RK8 is a male Alana Cara German Red Peacock. Nice size fish. Uh, ten bucks. Ten dollars. Somebody go ten. Five dollars. Five, 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 six, six. Looking for six. Anybody go six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Nine dollars. Looking for nine dollars. Anywhere? Sold at eight dollars. I had some free time this past weekend, so I decided to hit up a local auction in our area from the Greater Detroit Aquarium Society. For various reasons, I'd never been to a Greater Detroit auction, so I decided to check it out, and I was glad I did, because I did find some pretty interesting fish. So let me go ahead and show you what I found at the auction. First of all were these blue-tailed Gideans, or Antinobius Taurine. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you're probably aware that I already have this fish, but this group I picked up was from a different collection point. The current fish I have in the fish room were collected at Laguna Los Antiojitos in 2001, but I've had them in the fish room since 2020. This has been a really good colony for me and has produced quite a few fry. The collection point for this new group is from Al Ajui Spring, which is two and a half kilometers south of the village of Suarez and were collected in 2016. The tag even has the GPS coordinates located on the bag, which of course I had to go into Google Maps and look up the location. In the wild, they were found in swampy fields with channels and ponds. The fish being found in areas of low flow, underneath the leaves of water lilies and between reed stems. There are plenty of bags of these fish and I was able to purchase three bags and start out with a pretty nice colony. I had an open 40 gallon breeder that was perfect to house this large group of fish. I have found this species of Gadea to be a pretty easy one to keep and one that does not predate on its fry. If you want to learn more about this fish, I'll go ahead and put a link to the Gadea Working Group page that profiles this species. I'm pretty optimistic that I can get a pretty good colony of these fish going, just like their predecessors. I don't buy a lot of endlers these days, but I couldn't get over the color of these volcano endlers. I really enjoyed the nice red color on the males, which I thought was absolutely stunning. Endlers are one of my favorite beginner fish in the hobby, being hardy and able to handle a wide variety of water temperatures and conditions. They are peaceful and make great tank mates for many other nano fish and shrimp in the hobby. If you so desire, endlers breed easily and produce an abundance of fry. I was able to purchase two bags of these endlers at the auction and was able to add them to this 20 gallon high tank that I had opened. I am really looking forward to seeing these beautiful fish spawn and seeing this colony grow out in the next couple of months. One of the fish that I'm a complete sucker for is Cyprochromus, and I couldn't pass up this group of six Cyprochromus leptosoma and Pebway Blue Neon. I really enjoy the schooling behavior and bright coloration of Cyprochromus, which makes them a really unique cichlid in the aquarium hobby. Since these fish ship poorly and stress easily, I really like to find my Cyprochromus locally to minimize stress on the fish. If you watched last week's video, I moved my Trophius Mpungu out of a 75 gallon tank and into a 125 gallon tank. With a little aquascaping, I thought that 75 gallon tank would make a great place to kick off this colony of Cyprochromus. This video was taken only after a couple of hours being in the tank, so they're a little bit skittish, hiding out at the top. But hopefully in the next day or so, they'll settle in and we can get a nice colony going, like I have with my Cyprochromus leptosoma blue flash that we saw earlier. Cyprochromus are one of my favorite fish in the hobby, so I'm excited to have another group to work with. I'm really excited to see how they'll turn out. I hope that you enjoyed taking a look at all the fish that I picked up at the Greater Detroit Aquarium Society auction. While it was a small auction, I had a good time and really found some great fish. At the end here, I'll put up a link to a couple of care guide videos of some of the fish we spoke about in this video. So with that, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll catch you on the next video.